What's up, Collider fans? The first Purge has a controversial mid credit scene. We're going to talk about it next. Jeff Snyder here, joined by John Roca and Mark Riley. Hello, everyone. Guys, I saw the first Purge last night. Oh. Okay. And what I what I really wanted to talk about was this mid credit scene. Okay. So it was this. It's the second mid credit scene. Turned out to be an ad for the Purge TV series. Interesting. Okay. Which is going to be uh, airing. I don't know if it's later this summer or this fall on USA. Okay. And it, I think it was the first time I've ever seen a movie advertise a show that actually I don't think there's any connection between the show and the movie okay. it, it, it was like I thought it was a genius move for Blumhouse uh, because you know it's creating awareness about this TV series and using the movie to do it but you know, on the other hand it was kind of infuriating because I was like this just doesn't belong it's a bad precedent Riley we're gonna start with you what do you think about this I mean right off the bat I it it sounds fine in the sense that it's the same kind of property it's from the same production company Blumhouse but I get you're coming from, and what I feel you're you're alluding to is kind of a a pure theatrical experience that this hasn't been done before, and so it could open up the doors for more ads in the middle of credits or movies. But at the same point, it's almost like Marvel has now trained us to sit here in these post-credit mm. scenes. I remember sitting in Incredibles two, going, "Is there a, is there going to mm. be a, a post-credit scene here?" Mm. Uh, I, Marvel, I get it, but like I remember sitting to the end of the dawn of the Planet of the Apes mm. and wondering if we were going to get something. So now we're we're all sitting there as audience members, and we're sitting there waiting for something. And now horror movies are starting to do that. You're saying that there was a post credit scene, right? There's a little the scene, purge. right? There's a little the scene purge. before the ad, but then the ad comes. So in like, the ad, uh, yeah, I uh, Roka, what do you think? Well, uh, my initial thought of this was, well, it makes sense for Blumhouse for what they're doing. Uh, for that, and it's a place you can explore that in because it's a horror franchise, right? And they're promoting their own connection to the movie, which mm -hmm. is The Purge. Now, did it come on and go, coming this fall from USA, or did it just do a trailer for the for the series and then it was done? No, it, it, it said, like, you know, eventually it said, com, you know, coming to USA, The wow. Purge TV series. Well, then, then in that case, this is, you can experiment like this uh, in these smaller, with these smaller studios in this way because you can't do this kind of stuff in the bigger studios. I think if you did this this in is a big studio. This is a Universal Studios movie. Right, but this Blumhouse. Universal, Universal Blumhouse. Pictures. Blumhouse, though, and that's a different section. If you did this during an MCU movie and you, or a DC movie and be like, hey, don't forget the Flash on the CW, blah, right, blah, that, blah. That's what that getting would be at. too far. That would be a step too far. I think people would react very negatively to that. Right, but as long as we keep it here in the fact that they're, they're advertising their series, yeah. The Purge, makes perfect sense to me not a big deal if they're doing it in the movie mm -hmm. raises the awareness people say oh there's a tv show coming i happen to uh, saw i saw the purge tv show mm -hmm. commercial the other day and i was like yeah. oh yeah that's right there's a tv and show it looks coming. good right yeah. and it looks great right but now if you tell me that i'm watching a marvel movie a dc movie a star wars movie any movie and in the middle of the oh. credits we get a commercial for something else then i'll call bullshit you, you want to see star I, no, no, no no you want to see star wars fans revolt do a clone wars commercial or I'm sorry, a Star Wars Rebels commercial in one of the previous Star Wars films, people would have lost their mind if they'd well, done there, that in the, in the credit scene. There was a That's rumor at one point that Force Awakens was gonna have a post-credit scene for Rogue One, right. and I was completely against it. Right, right. I was completely against it because of the pure kind of Star Wars fan that I am, where I'm just like, no, 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 I like to, I like to listen to John Williams' suite. But I think that's you, what I like to listen to, and then that's it. I also think you touched on a good point, Mark and, and, and Jeff. We've been conditioned to sit through end credits to see if there's something, right? Right. But this is now mirroring our TV experience, which is when we're watching a movie at home, we will go on our phones, we will do something else, we will, we will take, like, we do that already. So this putting the commercial thing is just, it's kind of an interesting, ingenious way for them to kind of reflect the tastes that I are changing. I see that it's a, a ground breaking marketing move yeah. from Universal and particularly Blumhouse um, yeah. because this is a, Universal is not involved in the TV show. Right. It's a Blumhouse thing. So you, you, you have a whole theater full of people who have presumably bought a ticket to see The Purge. Hey, maybe you guys like this movie. Maybe you're interested in a Purge show. Yeah. I get that. But does this open the door to say you go and see Mission Impossible and halfway through the Mission yeah. Impossible credits is don't tune into Yellowstone on the Paramount Network. Like, <laughs> See, that's what I would have. That's it's not problem. the same property. Right. Not the same property. Stay out of my credits. Okay. But we see this happening on, ne on TV channels now, right? When you're watching some network and they're showing a movie from another studio that right during the credit scenes, they'll be like, don't forget, coming up later, we've got blah, 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 yeah, blah. And so I, and it's, I, it mirrors our TV viewing experience already, I think. 
interesting. Yes, and the TV stuff that's happened now, you're in the middle of a show and yeah. there's this ad that pops up and some character runs across the screen and goes, coming up later, I right. hate that stuff. Right. I hate it, it takes away, it takes you right out of the thing. But at the same point, to be devil's advocate, you're sitting mm -hmm. there in a movie with The Purge, yeah. and it's the credits, and people are leaving and everything, and then the ad shows up, you're like, okay. Again, it's, if it's tied directly to the brand, I can understand it. So, so you it. wouldn't be disappointed that this thing that has just interrupted the credits is not actually related to the movie you just saw. Like, you're sitting there, you're thinking, oh, another mid credit scene or whatever, sure. right, right. and it turns out to be an ad. No, but an ad for the TV show, The Purge. That is connected to the movie, okay, I wouldn't so you think as long as it's connected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. As long as it's right. connected. But not I don't in a big get, studio. Yeah. I don't mind this. I don't. I would have an issue with it Again, in a franchise. I admire the move. I don't say I, I cared for it. I don't think mm -hmm. that Wendy Lee, who, who, who works here at Collider, yeah. I don't think she liked it. Yeah. Uh, but we want to hear from you guys. The Purge opens tonight, July 3rd. Uh, uh, many of you, I'm sure, will see it when you have the work off tomorrow on the 4th. So hop in the comment section. Let us know what you think of this mid credit scene. Uh, was it obnoxious, or could you, could you appreciate what they were trying to do? Uh, leave a comment, like this video, and subscribe to Collider for more videos like this.